Hey guys, welcome back to AdLib Talk, and this is my review for Hulu's latest movie, The Princess. But before we start with this review, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoy it, and please do consider subscribing. So, The Princess released today on Hulu and is a historical action fantasy drama movie directed by Le Van Keet, starring Joey King and Dominic Cooper. The premise here is extremely simple, and to be perfectly honest with you, there is little to no plot going on. A character, named only as the princess, wakes up locked in a tower of her father's castle. We see two evil and dastardly looking men enter into her room, and surprise, surprise, the princess is no weakling, requiring a knight to save her. The princess can easily save herself as she takes on these two men with ease killing them. Get used to this because that is pretty much the whole movie. As evil man after evil man tries to take on our princess to be defeated through a number of rather neat action sequences which we'll talk about in more detail later on. Now most of the backstory is told to us through a number of rather weak flashbacks which attempt to and pretty much fail to flesh out the plot and the characters we find out that the princess had been supposed to marry Julius in an attempt to create an heir. The princess had refused his hand in marriage, and so Julius decided he would instead take her by force, therefore attacking and capturing the castle. We also get to see how the princess was trained to become a great warrior. Like I said, the storytelling aspect of this movie is very weak and it's clear that the movie focused much more on the various action sequences we got to see through its 1 hour and 30 minute runtime. Unfortunately, as great as these action sequences are, they do start to feel a little stale after a certain amount of time. I mean, how many times are you going to see Joey King dispatch of men armed with medieval weapons? showcasing incredible incompetency, which makes you wonder just how Julius managed to capture this castle in the first place with them. That's not to say that the action is not well done. If there is one aspect of this movie that I truly liked, it is in fact the action choreography and how it was shot. I could tell Joey King worked really hard on this and she seems to perform most of the stunts herself impressively so. As unrealistic as most of the conflict was, King did her best to portray the warrior princess. This must have been quite the transition from rom-com actress to medieval action fantasy. King must have done months of training for this role and that really paid off in dividends for this movie. By her side was action star Veronica Ango, whom you might recognize from the old guard, who is at ease in action movies like these. The shots themselves are well done, the action is very clear, and that is thanks to some great long takes, which ensure that you always know what is going on on screen. I always emphasize the importance of long takes in action scenes rather than a lot of cutting and editing, which sometimes really lead to a mess of an action sequence. Unfortunately, as great as the action is, it does start to get a little repetitive, as I said, midway through the movie, as it's literally one action sequence after another, with little to no time dedicated to character development. We barely know anything about King and Ingo's characters. We know they are great fighters, and that's pretty much it. So, as good as the action is throughout, and it really is good, as King dispatches of waves of soldiers in a variety of interesting methods, it will start to wear you out, as the movie never really gives you reason to care about what is going on on screen, which is rather unfortunate. Our antagonist is Dominic Cooper's character Julius, and he too suffers from the same problem. He's quite underwritten. What motivated him to attack the King's castle? Was it simply because he was denied at the altar? Some more character motivation and development would go a lot in improving this movie and actually making us care about what is going on. Because most of what we see on screen is actually quite fun and interesting. 
Yes, the action does get a little repetitive, but Joey King is a delight to watch on screen, considering how little the script offers her with regard to character moments. She does her utmost with a truly enthusiastic performance as the warrior princess. Much of the production design is nice to look at. I enjoyed the low fantasy setting with the whole story basically taking place in one castle. The costumes, the armor and the weapons all look great and there's a nice variety in that aspect as well. Where the movie truly struggles visually is in its CGI, which is truly weak. This is obviously a budget issue, but there are certain green screen moments which look awful. But the worst of them all was a scene where a soldier basically burns to death and jumps out of the window on fire. The CGI effects of the fire was truly amateur and made me question why I was actually watching this movie in the first place for a second or two. Overall, The Princess is one of those movies that really make me question my rating system. It was clearly made as a middle finger to all those Disney movies where you have the damsel in distress requiring saving by a knight in shining armor. Here, pretty much all all the men are either incompetent, idiots, sexists, and or racists. And that's fine. We've seen enough movies about white men saving princesses for quite some time. It's great to see a truly female empowering movie and the script from writers Ben Lustig and Jake Thornton achieves that aspect of the movie with flying colors. They also managed to make a rather enjoyable fast-paced action movie with some decent set pieces throughout. However, where they did fail was in pretty much everything else. We know little about our protagonist, all the characters are underwritten. Our main protagonist doesn't even have a name. I personally struggled to empathize or to care about anything that is going on on screen despite Joey King's very very good performance by the midway point of the movie I was not looking forward to our next action scene but rather looking at my watch wondering how long this movie was going to take which is never a good sign so considering all these things considering that yes the princess has some very good moments and I truly applaud the great idea behind the whole concept of female empowerment and, and the princess being the one to save the day from the evil villain. I still find it very hard to recommend due to all the issues that we've talked about. And so my rating for the princess is a 2 out of 5. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that review. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And please do consider subscribing. Cheers. And I'll see you guys next time right here on AdLib Talk.